let's get into this. The images coming out of uh, Florida, just uh, extraordinary. And um, I have seen reports that scientists are estimating the amount of rainfall and the, the, uh, the strength of this hurricane 10% greater because of climate change. Uh, very difficult, I imagine, to really know this precisely. But uh, certainly we know that the intensity of these storms are increasing because of climate change. The frequency of these storms are increasing because of climate change. Um, you're taxing a system that is already taxed because of climate change in terms of durability. There is going to be billions of dollars worth of damage here. Um, we will talk about this a little bit more in the program, but of course, uh, DeSantis, voted famously against such aid when he was a House representative is now, of course, looking for it from government. But it is a reminder that only government, and really in this instance, only the federal government can address physical event, I mean, uh, you know, I, I don't know how you want to call it, disasters of this uh, of this uh, caliber. And really, the disaster comes, uh, I have been told by uh, experts on these type of things, uh, some listeners, uh, that th these are not natural disasters. The disaster is a function of human response to these weather events. These weather events are going to increase with frequency and in strength. And the only way that we can deal with them, it's really two part. One is we need to cut down on uh, those on on those uh, on climate change gases. And then on the back end, we need to have a government that functions well and and uh, addresses these issues and prepares well for them. And right now, we barely have either, frankly. And it's not in any way helped by, you know, folks like DeSantis when they're in Congress uh, <laughs> voting against uh, relief in these situations because that's what government's for. Well, Republicans do this all the time. I mean, famously, didn't Rand Paul vote against uh, yep. relief for other areas? And then Kentucky was hit badly. And so then he wants it for himself. That this is why they cannot be trusted to govern because they're uh, they will undercut everybody else. But when it's time for help for their own state, you know they're they're they want government to help them out. Of course, uh, here is uh, footage from YouTuber Max Olson who has taken a video in Fort Myers Beach, Florida, and did a time lapse. This is pretty uh, crazy. Stunning. Yeah. Is. The swell of those waves is insane, or I guess not even waves, but... And all those electrical wires and everything near that water. <laughs> Do we know how high that water was at its highest peak? 15 feet, right? Yeah, that's, that's, from his video, it said the storm surge was a, was 15 feet. Wow. That's crazy. Um, and so much of Florida is so low in terms of like its, its sea level. Um, so it just makes these, it makes them even more vulnerable in terms of just like 
of course, geographically, they're more vulnerable and also in the in the the land level um, relative to the, the water, they are just so vulnerable to these increased uh, increasingly intense storms. And it's just going to keep getting worse. And that's nothing to say about Miami, which is essentially built on a sponge. And there is um, the water in, in, in an event like that. If anything was ever to happen uh, near Miami, um, the water comes not just uh, from the ocean, but literally from the, the ground up. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, it's going to have to be Venice. 